The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the letter of the Apostle Paul to Titus. Remind them to be obedient to the officials in authority, to be ready to do good at every opportunity, not to go slandering other people, but to be peaceable and gentle and always polite to people of all kinds. There was a time when we too were ignorant, disobedient, and misled and enslaved by different passions and dissipations. We lived then in wickedness and malice, hating each other and hateful of ourselves. But when the kindness and love of God our Savior for humanity were revealed, it was not because of any upright actions we had done ourselves. It was for no reason except His own faithful love that He saved us by means of the cleansing of water of rebirth and renewal in the Holy Spirit, which He has so generously poured over us through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that justified by His grace we should become heirs in hope of eternal life. And a response from Psalm 23. Yahweh is my shepherd, I lack nothing. In grassy meadows, he lets me lie. By tranquil streams, he leads me to restore my spirit. He guides me in paths of saving justice as befits his name. Even were I to walk in a ravine as dark as death, I should fear no danger, for you are at my side. Your staff and your crook are there to soothe me. You prepare a table for me under the eyes of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil my cup brims over. Kindness and faithful love pursue me every day of my life. I make my home in the house of Yahweh for all time to come. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Now it happened that on the way to Jerusalem, Jesus was traveling in the borderlands of Samaria and Galilee. As he entered one of the villages, 10 men suffering from a virulent skin disease came to meet him. They stood some way off and called to him, Jesus, Master, take pity on us. When he saw them, he said, Go and show yourselves to the priest. Now as they were going away, they were cleansed. Finding himself cured, one of them turned back, praising God at the top of his voice, and threw himself prostrate at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. This man was a Samaritan. This led Jesus to say, we're not all ten made clean. The other nine, where are they? It seems that no one has come back to give praise to God except this foreigner. And he said to the man, stand up and go on your way. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord.